Now we're in pre-production, and we're at the, at the wardrobe session is the next seminal event on the movie. I'm very excited that I got Cliff Gorman in the film because I am a Bob Fosse fan, and I remembered all that jazz, and he was Lenny Bruce, and I get to work with Cliff Gorman. I'm so excited. Now, what I didn't know is that when they were shooting the pilot for Hello, Larry, that Cliff Gorman and Donna Wilkes, Angel, were the first people test piloted for the movie. I also didn't know that during the test pilot, Cliff Gorman was making fun of Donna Wilkes' height because when Donna did Angel and played a high school student, she was actually 26 years old. She was blackie on General Hospital, and they took advantage of her diminutive size so that she played a teenager well into her 20s. Well, when they were doing Hello, Larry, which was earlier than that, that was the idea, was to have somebody who's over 18 play somebody younger. So he kept calling her things like munchkin and, and such diminutive names. And she kept saying to him, Cliff, you've got to stop doing this. It, stop, please stop, stop, please stop, stop. And he wouldn't. He was relentless. So she starts to call him glass eye because he's got the one bad eye. Well, it, it didn't take him but a moment to get really upset about being called a name. And I'm not quite sure how or why things escalated, but I know they escalated to her on foot running away from him, him on foot running after her, her locking herself in the dressing room, and him breaking the door down. He was removed from the lot and asked to never return. Um, the first day they end up seeing each other after this moment in their lives is in my wardrobe session on Angel. Neither of them thought to ask who else was in the movie. They were both happy to read the script and take the part. Cliff was apoplectic when he saw her there. Uh, we offered to release him. Apparently, he needed a job. Apparently, he didn't want to be released. There was no way after the casting search we did that we were ever going to replace Donna Wilkes. We knew we had Angel. There, there, was, there was everybody and there was Donna Wilkes. And it, it didn't matter who names were or names weren't. That movie worked with her all day long, and, and you could tell from every reading. And that girl had to read so many times to get the part. Uh, the owners of the company that, that had no idea what casting was were coming to casting sessions to make sure. It was the first film that was being made at the New New World Pictures. So here I am. It's, it's now 10 days into the shoot, and I'm on set, and the prop man comes to me, and he shows me his prop box, and he picks up a gun. And he says, look at this gun. Okay, what's the joke? He says, this isn't my gun. He says, well, it's not my gun either. What are you trying to tell me? He says, I'm trying to tell you that this is my prop box, that the next scene is the scene where uh, John Deal is in a lineup, a cop comes in with coffee, he takes the gun, and he shoots the two-way mirror. He says, this is not the gun that I set for the scene, yet it's in the position where the gun would be for the scene, and this gun is loaded. I said, are you, I mean, somebody wants him to pick up a gun and shoot Donna Will over, over to Cliff Gorman's trailer. Cliff, do you have a handgun that's loaded that you can't account for right now? Oh my goodness, is my gun missing? So now what's the producer want to do? The producer wants to call the police and have the man arrested and put in jail. Okay, I call the bond company and I call the studio executives and, and the heads of the company and I explain the whole situation and here's where we find ourselves. He's established on film in every scene. It's not something insurable that just happened. It's not an act of God that just happened. If we do the right thing and report all of this, we crash the movie and we lose a million dollars. Against all of my better judgment, I acquiesce and follow my marching orders and I finish the film. And we pay, obviously, very close attention to everything surrounding this. Can you imagine? And that's the honest to God's truth.